What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm back with some packages to unpackage. Let's get into it. International Stacker. Hey, everybody. International Stacker here. Where have you been? IS, have you quit? There's no videos, you guys. For those of you who have been following my channel for a long time, you know I do a lot of contracting work, and I particularly work in my expertise is, um, oh, man, it is, it is taped to the inside is emergency management and homeland uh, security type uh, contract work. So that's what enables me to become international stacker and travel the world and take you guys on all these adventures. But unfortunately, uh, when there's disasters going on, well, fortunately, because I like that. I like responding to disasters being part of it. But unfortunately, unfortunately speaking, um, this is literally the longest response ever you know usually a disaster is like you know a week two weeks a month at most etc uh but this is the one that just literally never stops uh i started response to the beer flu i don't dare say the name go uh because i don't want to get censored in it um but i've been at it for nearly a year and what did i get here so um, this is a private buy, and we're gonna have to make sure this we're gonna have to make sure this thing's legit. This is a private buy, and I've got more to unbox. Don't worry. Um, I got this on Facebook, and I was able to get this uh, at spot at spot or right below spot price. I'll put the price up here on the screen. I'm gonna have to look after the fact. Um, but this is two troy ounces. What is this? I just popped on it because it was under spot. Plum Artward Brass. Founded 1852. So this is, how many ounces did I say? Two? Yeah, two. Okay, so let's do this. So we got to calibrate it to start, and then I'm going to open some other stuff as well. It's going to be great stuff. So anyways, long story short, I've been responding to this disease forever now. And uh, with the role I'm in now, it's a very high level uh, response role. Um, so that's resulted in me having to like work crazy hours, especially this last month or so. Uh, very crazy hours. There we go. Yellow is okay. Green's really where you want to be. Yellow is good. A lot of silver shows up as yellow. Um, not anything to really worry about. Where you worry if it's pegged hard in the red or anywhere in the red, that's where you'd be concerned. But what we can do is we can come down here, click around and measure it. And everyone always asks what this machine is. It's a Sigma Metalytics Verifier Pro. You guys, if you're buying gold and silver, it is worth it to get. It's about, um, there's a bill of long hair on there. What the heck, I asked you. You find Mrs. IS already? Um, so you want to be gently kissing the lines. So anyways, if you find, if you buy a decent amount of gold and silver, you need this. It finds one gold coin, it's paid for itself. A couple silver bars, it's paid for itself. So that's real. So we'll leave it on for now. Um, but they're about 1400 bucks. You can get them on eBay. If you get them with a coupon, you can get discount. And even eBay bucks, you get up to almost 25% off. You get like a 15% coupon and 10% eBay bucks. I bought this with a 15% off coupon. So let's go ahead and open this. So yeah, this is the response that just never ends. So I'm working the most ridiculous hours of my entire life right now. And look at this, guys. The coins are showing through in this letter. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to open this without cutting anything that might be in there. So I'm hoping in the next two weeks, things are going to get significantly better for me. And I'm going to get freed up and actually have a life again. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The inside of this is the letter. What the heck is going on? Um, so I'm hoping the next couple of weeks, my life will get better again and not completely suck. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Pray for me, guys. <laughs> Pray for me. But yeah, I've been literally having no time, which is why there's been very few videos like this last two weeks for me. I've literally been spending every waking hour working. So I've never had a uh, letter where it's on the inside of the envelope. That's very unique and interesting. Hey, I know you like foreign silver. Not a fan, laugh out loud. So this individual, let me see who it is. They did not put their name, um, but looks like they sent me this from New York. 
they know I like the international stuff. They're not big fans of it. So they sent me some looks like to be Canadian silver here. So thank you to whoever this is, Mr. Smiley Face. And first off, look how the coins made like a copy of themselves in the paper. That's epic. Um, so why did I get into foreign silver? And looks like we've got two silver quarters. Uh, 1958. 37, wow. And this looks like a dime. 1959. So why did I start buying this foreign silver? Well, first off, I'm trying to build the hoard of hoards. Uh, my goal is, uh, was 6,000 ounces. I should be pretty dang close to it. I was at 6,000 ounces, had to sell 500 ounces. At the beginning of the beer flu, long story short, got stuck between contracts and needed some cash flow, did that. I think I'm back up near around 6,000. I've got to add a bunch of orders back to my spreadsheet. But anyways, going around the United States, particularly to coin shops, I found that nobody wanted this foreign stuff. So I was able before this pandemic to go into most uh, local coin shops, also known as a LCS and say, hey, do you have any um, foreign silver? I'll buy whatever you have at spot price. And they would always do it. And I found treasures, guys. I found like Balboas and all kinds of cool foreign silver that if I wanted to, I could flip and go sell for definitely more than the spot price. And I acquired most of that when spot price was down like 17, 16, 15. I think the lowest spot price I ever paid was 14 bucks. Now what's silver's at 27 now? Are you guys kidding me? So super epic. So um, thank you to whoever this is that sent me this, Mr. Smiley Face, um, but sent me some foreign silver, super sick. For everyone who's new to my channel, I frequently give away coins, give, I've given away gold. Uh, I just gave away some ranger plates for some um, magazines for uh, firearms. So um, I'm looking to do a lot of really cool videos and content coming up in the near future. I just gotta make it through this damn response. You guys, this is the response that never ends. And it's like every couple weeks, I'm like, all right, the light's at the end of the tunnel. We're almost there, I'm gonna be able to relax. <laughs> and then two weeks later, I'm like, ah, we're completely out. But we're almost at a point now where I think my life's gonna get significantly better. I'm actually gonna be able to take weekends off again. And hey, it's Sunday right now and I'm able to film videos. This hasn't been able to happen for like the last three or four weeks. I've been completely swamped and like working on weekends. Then when I get home, I'm super tired. I'm just going to sleep. So cross your fingers for me, guys. I think there is light at the tunnel with this uh, response I'm currently working on and the beer flu. And shout out to JW underscore coins on uh, Instagram. He or she is literally liking all of my posts as we speak. The notifications are dropping up. And that's a good reminder. Check out my Instagram, International Stacker. Check out my Discord. The link is in the description below. You guys, help me beat the YouTube algorithm. It is a jerk, a bully, and it, it just wants to ruin all of our lives. And the way to kill it is you gotta smash it by smashing that like button. Hit that subscribe. I've got, I'm gonna film a few more videos here back to back, and I'm tell you, gonna tell you all what happened when I got stuck in the silver short squeeze. Anyways, guys, hope you liked the video. Let me film some more, and let's get back to rising the crustacean nation from the ashes. Catch you on the next one. Woo! One stacker on a journey to find silver. International stack.